All right, Shalom. This is the brother Nahalia from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and the sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. All right, this is Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 13. And it reads, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. The Lord did not call you to be normal. And you are not normal through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. The Lord has called you to be the best version of yourself in righteousness. And as we go through our day to day, this is something that we should keep in mind. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Verse 15 reads, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And the Lord has called us not to be regular, not to be average, but to be distinct, to be distinguished, to be holy. Every brother has a unique spirit. And the Lord has brought you into this, that you may be the best version of yourself in righteousness. And that's why the scriptures tell us to continue in these things, to let your light shine before men. Not to dim your light, but to let it shine and to abound, to grow in the spirit. The better you are, the better the brothers that are around you are. All right, for you believers, the better you are, the better example you are setting as a believer of Yahweh Bashim Shai. We're not being raised up to be average. We're not being raised up to be regular. We're being raised up to be joint heirs, Lord willing, we endure unto the end. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12. And it reads, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And you have to believe that that process begins in you. It begins with you as well. And if you believe that, then you will carry that standard in everything that you're doing in your life and let your light shine and put forth your hand, whatever you put forth your hand to, do it with all that might. Why? Because you are setting a standard. You are a representation of that standard. That's why you've been called. You haven't been called to be regular. You've been called to be distinguished. There's Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. And it reads, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. And that's the standard that we have to push forth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel al Shai. And that involves being an example that involves being an example of this light and letting that light shine. According to the spirit that the Lord is giving you, whether you understand it or not, the Lord is creating you to be the best version of yourself in righteousness. Everything that goes right in your life, everything that may seem to go wrong, is all to meet that purpose. 
All right, this is First Peters 2 and 9. And it reads, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And that is your responsibility on the planet. You were born on this planet to show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And every day you should be striving to allow your candle through the spirit of the Lord to burn brighter, to burn more consistently. And that begins by setting that standard for yourself and applying that standard to everything that you do. Being that light, being that city that is set on the hill when you walk in a room. Rehearsing these, these precepts and this wisdom. Seasoning your words with salt. Being peaceable with all men, being a representation of that ruling class mentality, not in arrogancy, but as a representation of it in righteousness. And you have been called to do that. You've been called and raised up to do that. To be the best version of you in righteousness. And that doesn't just stop in your belief in the Lord and your work for the Lord. That seeps through every aspect of your life, and it should. In order to do what? To show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. If you truly believe you are one of those men that the Lord is making into fine gold, then you should carry yourself like you have something to offer through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Me and the brothers have been talking about that all this week and last week. You know about embodying that standard as much as possible, as consistently as possible, as diligently as possible. Understanding that we were called for a purpose and that purpose is not um, unimportant. It's the highest purpose that you can ask for on the planet. And that has to be embodied in each and individ each individual lively stone of the temple. All right, Lord willing, we are of that number. All right, this is First Peter 2 and 5. And it reads, Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? You are a lively stone. All right, let's, I'll go into the definition of lively really quick. All right, so that word in the Greek is zao, all right? And it says lively, to live, breathe, be among the living, not lifeless, not dead, all right? And lifeless and dead is the average, it's the norm of this world. The second definition says to enjoy real life. If you understand that what you have is precious, that what you have is worth more than everything else in this world, then it should be seen on your countenance. Our confidence is sourced in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that praise, that light should be seen on you in action and in deed. And that is something through the spirit that we all should strive to perfect more and more. And through the spirit, this is an exhortation 
not only for you but for myself as well to embody this understanding to embody that standard to embody that class that the Lord desires to have in us we have to let that light shine before men and this is a beautiful opportunity through the spirit for us to learn things on our journey to the kingdom of heaven through this experience through applying this knowledge through going into a crowded room and just feeling the energy in the room and feeling how that energy changes when people approach you being able to season your words with salt to be a representation of that royalty in that class this truth seeps through every aspect of our life only as much as you apply it and this is an exhortation to apply it We have not been called to be normal. We have not been called to be regular. We have been called to be a representation of the kingdom to come through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. And that can only happen if you become the best Israelite that you can. If you can become the best version of yourself in righteousness. You will inspire the next brother to do the same. And all of it is for the edification of the body and the fellow laborers. So Lord willing, this was edifying. With that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.